You hit it like Amanda Nunez is going to hit Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'll, care- I'll go ahead and careen us to that story since I done hit it out the park anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we've got a fight on our hand. Amanda the Lion Nunez came out recently and said she wants to fight Jake Paul. Now, y'all remember after Paul beat up Nate Robinson, he set his sights on former UFC champ Conor McGregor. May not get the wish, but another UFC champ is willing to take McGregor's place. That would be women's bantamweight and featherweight champion Amanda Nunez. Now, keep in mind her name, ladies and gentlemen. Let me let y'all see my face. Amanda Nunez. Wants to take on Jake Paul. The fight was suggested by UFC President Dana White, who said he was thinking of letting Amanda Nunes knock Paul's ass out. White's comments didn't come unprovoked. Paul called out both McGregor and White after they didn't respond to Paul's fight offer. In a profane video, Paul said McGregor and White were scared and urged both men to sign the effing contract, you idiots. When asked about that video, White, who probably wasn't being 100% serious, brought up Nunez. T-Strings, I'm going to give it to you first since you're in the home of boxing. Would you like to see a fight with Amanda Amanda Nunez against Jake Paul? The Lioness. The Lioness. Can you hear us, T-Strings? Well, I think it would be funny, man. You know... I really hadn't even, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I hadn't really been able to take these uh, these uh, Paul brother fights too seriously, man. It's, it's uh, you know, it's, but, and what would be funny is for them to get get in the ring and for her to you know her trains with men. I know. I and know. So, yeah. So uh so she might be able she might be able to make some easy pickings of him, you know. I mean but yeah uh, is we got a lot of laughs off the last one with Nate Robinson but but you know and probably even get some more with his brother trying to fight Floyd uh Floyd Mayweather but I think I think it'll be funny and entertaining okay yeah Larry let's let, let me give yeah. you the tail of the tape Larry so had you so, heard about that yeah I heard it we yeah. talked about that last week so Larry Jake Paul is six foot one yeah and he weighs a hundred and sixty some odd pounds all right Amanda right. Nunez Larry this is when she beat the hell out of Ronda Rowdy <laughs> Rousey. Amanda Nunez <laughs> is five foot eight inches tall, weighs 135 pounds in the ring, but right now she weighs 140. She can kick the shit out of you. She can box the shit out of you. She's a true warrior, and her girlfriend right here looks tougher than Jake Paul. But having said those things, Larry, let's not forget. Even though Amanda wants to be the man in that relationship, her name is a man, duh, for a reason. She is still a woman fighting a six foot tall dude. <laughs> Do you yeah. give her a shot, Larry? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, if she gets in there, I mean, here's the thing if she gets in there, obviously she's in there with a man. And he's gonna have that. He's gonna have that natural advantage of being physically bigger and stronger because he is a man. Right. However, she is a professional athlete. She is a professional fighter and a champion. And I just, yeah, I, I don't see that dude winning that fight. In fact, if I was him, I would not even consider taking this fight. There, it is an absolute what? lose, what? lose for what? him, with the exception. With the exception of him making money, yeah. it's an absolute lose-lose for him. Because if he wins the fight, people are just going to say, all you did was beat up a girl. 
And if he loses the fight, people are going to be like, you got your ass kicked by a girl. Wait and there's no Man. winning for him. Larry, wait a minute. Right. I know she's a girl, but she is a man, duh, in the relationship. Nah, son, I can tell you right now, if he knocks her out, all people are going to be like, "Is damn, dude, you went out like a bitch. You knocked her out. Oh, you, you're not tough. I want to fight him now. He thinks he's tough because he's knocking chicks out. That's all people will say about him. And if he gets knocked out, People are just gonna be like, man, you're a you're a punk. You got knocked out by a girl. You need not ever step in the ring again. There is no winning for him in that fight. None. So you None. think you, you think that he has more to lose than she does? He's over. He has nothing to. Yeah. He has nothing but loses in that fight. There is not a way he could win that fight. <laughs> there is no well, way he can win that fight. Even if he wins that fight, he loses that fight. Absolutely, he can't win it. Mm, 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 mm. So the next question you, to you, Brazil Brazil is, just cranks them out. With, with, are you guys going to watch this fight? Because Amanda has a couple of chips on her shoulder, and she's been very vocal. Number one, she don't really care for white racist dudes. She's just straight up about that. She'll tell you right now. She'll kick you in your teeth. She don't care who you are. And number two, she's got the chip on her shoulder for white dudes again who want to talk SHIT about her being lesbian. And Jake Paul has been um, had, and his brother have been accused of both of those things. So mm. she really got some heat for this dude. Now, mind you, this ain't going to be UFC. This is going to be just a straight boxing match. And y'all still taking Amanda. Uh, yeah, I'm still taking her. But here's the problem. I'm not sure, like, unless this is going to be a real big I'm money fight, like, unless they're going to pay her you know, tens of millions of dollars on the crazy pay-per-view it may bring so that it makes it worth it for her financially. I don't even see how this fight does her any good because let's right. just say she goes in there and she knocks dude clean out. Let's she let's just say she goes in there and puts it on him and just and wears him out, knocks him out. She already is the most dominant female fighter in the UFC and no one wants to fight her now. Who in the hell is going to want to fight her after she starts knocking dudes out? <laughs> I mean, Larry, for real, what point. woman's going to want to get in the Larry, octagon with her? Wait, Larry, Larry, I got to pump the brakes on that one. It'd be different if she gets in a boxing ring and knocks out a professional male boxer. There are a lot of women in yeah. the UFC who think they can whip Jake Paul's ass, and I would bet money that some of those women who think they can whip his butt can actually whip his butt. So I don't see that being a feather in her cap yeah. to knock out Jake Paul. But if she was to get in a ring with, let's say she got in the ring with Roy Jones and knock his ass out, then yeah, I would give your argument some credence. But there are plenty of women who feel like Ann Wolf came out and dropped a tweet a couple of weeks ago that said she would get in the ring with Jake Paul. And I can tell you right now, even though Ann Wolf is middle 40s, she would beat the living hell out of Jake Paul and probably two thirds of the men on this planet in a boxing ring. And if y'all don't know who Ann Wolf is, I know T Streams know. Look her butt up. 